Ah, this is a delicious coffee with uh, Jason. We're going for my first group ride, guys. First Victorian group ride. And we're meeting up at Saint, which is, oh man, what the hell is this street? This street, it looks incredible. Saint clothing. I don't know, I got invited and I said yes. So this is it, I guess. Oh, I gotta do poo. <laughs> Oh man, that's just a massive fart. <laughs> that was so satisfying, holy crap. It's always funny trying to fart when you, when you ride bikes. I feel like I shit myself all the time. What's up? I don't know, I was following the local man. I, I don't know where I am. I literally have no idea where I am. Oh, this looks, this looks like it's it. That is my dream car. The dream, like literally the car I want. If I could have this, I'd be complete. I'd be done. GD500 Shelby, oh my God. Oh my God, I can't believe there's one right here. <laughs> what the heck? It just went from like 30-ish bikes to 40,000. And like everything, man. Panigales, R1s, Motards, Royal Enfields, Indians, Harleys, bloody everything, man. Adventure. Ah! <laughs> Group rides, ever been on them since DGR or something? It's been ages. Nice one, Elplater. Hells yeah, thanks, brother. Hi, Vickers. Look at tram lines, man. I'm not even used to riding on those things. I met up with a dude yesterday, his name's Corey, and um, he told me some things about the tram lines, especially you know when they get a little bit wet. So easy to come off, apparently. Sack of that. Oh, look at it. There's a lot of bikes. It just rammed up. Hey, they were literally expecting 35 bikes. <laughs> That is not what we are getting. There's just all these sports bikes, man. Now it's sick. So the guy in front of Jason, he's Mal. He owns a Guzzi. That's what he's riding now. The V7. But he also owns a Lotus as well. So he's full on in the Lotus Club. Froths. Cars and bikes here, man. So many. I can't believe the amount of classic cars and bikes there are. What's this guy doing? He's just taking his helmet off. Ah, oh, he's going to be too toasty. I've never seen that before. Is that allowed? Cars and bikes, man. So many sexy cars. I can't believe that GT500, that is like the car. That's the car. That's what I want. I would trade in. I'm not going to tell you guys <laughs> what I have because it's a surprise. But it's coming in like a couple of months. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Where are we headed? Kings Lake. Kings Lake. I don't know. <laughs> Sounds cool. Um, I had a quick little Google search and there's some sick, sick twisties. And everyone's saying like that they're really tight and everything, which is El Primo, I like. They are MTA 7s, hey? They sound good. There it is. Yeah. Freeway. What? Yeah, baby. Saturdays, eh? There's always, you know, you can't go as hard as you'd like to go. That's why I like to ride on a weekday so you don't get stuck in bloody traffic like this poor dude here. Chick. <laughs> Eddie K's, let's go! Oh, there's a car. It's all over. Look at these dirt spots in the middle of the road. Oh man, feels good to be out, baby. Holy crap. I've been just locked away in my warehouse for almost four weeks straight. This is the furthest I've been out so, like, since, since getting it. It's fucking awesome. Look at it. Oh, what is it with the dirt, man? It's all farmland, eh? What legends? That's nice. You please. It's like 
has seen out of Tokyo Drift when the water's drifting around the mountain. It's awesome. Group rides are sick when everyone's riding the same sort of, you know, pace. Fast enough to be able to hook around some corners. Um, but obviously, you know, not everyone's there. Good to get out and socialize man last week i felt today i felt like i felt lonely i didn't see anyone for a whole week like i didn't see any person face to face but yeah and I, I just i felt you know a little bit flat a little bit lonely um and so yesterday yesterday was good yesterday afternoon friday afternoon um i, I met a couple of people and then i had some beers with a mate that's in, in a show down in melbourne here so that was sick it was just good to just to see faces i've just been so balls deep in my in my warehouse just getting it set up which is like i need to do it so i can start working too too long it's too long between seeing faces man started feeling the lonely feels not good i was just flat i felt flat i wasn't motivated i started to get heaps tired and just lethargic so this is so good just to get out of all the hustle clear the mind good vibes good energy Hanging out with people, seeing some familiar faces, and um, yeah, and now we're riding up to this Kings Lake place, <laughs> um, and they have beer there, so that's bloody fantastic. I'm so down with it, and it's just sick to be exploring a whole new section of Australia. You know, like <laughs> riding, like living in a different city, moving to a different city is such a crazy experience. It's awesome, especially middle-aged like myself, starting fresh. New roads, new experiences, it's sick. It's so sick. I'm loving it. Um, I just gravitate towards Melbourne more. I don't know. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> so everyone's stuck behind slow bastards like this guy. <laughs> That's Jason. Oh, the gravel. The gravel's scary, man. Look at it. Oh. man that sounds off tap this is a leisurely ride for him eh? he's just like he's probably in first gear <laughs> sitting at 3,000 revs Scraping his pipes. <laughs> Harley's man, Harley's doing this sort of stuff. Good turns though, this is so good. Oh, a cyclist. Oh, that's a tough one, it's a tough one. <laughs> wow, this is so tight, it's so good. You get motion sick. makes cornering so fun especially at higher speed because that's where we get a little bit addicted to thrill seeking and everything because you're concentrating but you're also very in the moment you're not really thinking about much else you still have those gaps in consciousness like you're, you're in flow state you're not thinking about anything apart from what you're doing you want to be able to do that that's literally meditation right there being able to stop thought no voices in their head and it might only last for like a second a split second but that is enough to get your mind back into into a nice state you're not you're not overthinking you're not anxious you're not panicking <gasps> what's happened uh-oh Oh, people off, off their bikes. Oh god. Jay's full on called it as all. He said 
someone's gonna come off for sure. Uh, damn it. You did? Damn it, hope they're all good, man. All good, everybody? Everybody good? Everybody good? They're all good. Everyone's good. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, where was I? Ah, consciousness. <laughs> King Lake. Booyah. There it is, the pub, ladies and gentlemen. Where's that one going? Ah, oh, it's feeling up. <laughs> There's a city in the background, man. That looks bloody sick. So I put up a poll a couple of days ago asking you guys what you'd like to see more of. And um, a few of you guys asked for standard old motor blog. One on camera on the helmet and then just chat smack. Real simple styles. Get to know me. Get to uh, get to show you around Melbourne as I'm exploring it as well because I just moved here like three weeks ago. And yeah, I think I think that's a really cool idea. I think I will do that. It's, it's pretty funny that I've like given all these tips on how to motor vlog and you know, all the best setups and all that sort of stuff. But I literally actually don't really motor vlog myself unless it's on an adventure or something like that. I guess I'm gonna start moto vlogging every now and then and just keep you guys updated on the hats with moto fills, with things that um, I'm thinking about, I guess, ideas that I'm having, um, and yeah, and like we can sort of create a bit of a hang. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you had a very nice time, as I did. Very nice to get the hell out of my warehouse and explore some Melbourne roads. Here's to more times. Woo!